okay so today I'm gonna teach you how to route the LG Optimus 2X on a Mac so the first thing we check is if the phone is rooted so that let's run root explorer uh, if you can read it it says root access could not be obtained because SU failed with the following message and there's a message which says okay so you just read it make sure you granted root permission when you requested super user if you did then try rebooting your device so now what we're gonna try is to root the device before that you need to enable the USB debugging mode to do that go into settings and then applications development and uh, you have to check the USB debug mode this sorry uh, but I don't have a field of view large field of view so just check it it gives you a message USB debugging is intended for development purposes only so whatever just say ok and go back ok so the first thing you're gonna need to do is cd to the place where your files are stored now you need to push the exploit to the phone um, I'm just gonna reconnect my phone and try again ok so now the phone is connected let's try again yeah now run the adb shell uh, what you wanna do is cd to the data local temp now ch mod 755 ps So what we're basically doing right now is running the exploit on the phone. So now the exploit is done. Or uh, now you want to uh, remount the system. Remount succeeded. Check if your device is successfully remounted. Well, my device is uh, listed, so it's remounted now. Uh, now just try the shell again. You can see the hash sign. Uh, or the pound sign it it just denotes that your phone is temporarily rooted exit it uh, now you wanna push the SU and the busy box to your phone to permanently root the phone so let's do that and uh, the busy box too now go back to adb shell ch mod 4755 system bin su and system bin busy box now delete the exploit file since we don't need it any anymore we have done the exploiting of the phone now you need to transfer the super user application to manage the permissions and all on on the phone itself so push that also and now just type adb shell
and reboot that's it your phone should be rooted now you may go ahead and check it uh, this is all for the tutorial please rate and comment on the video you like it or not and don't forget to subscribe thank you okay so let's check if our phone is rooted now I'm using root explorer uh, you can get it from the market it's about 200 rupees or something anyways uh, root explorer it's asking for root permissions right now so it basically means that we have successfully rooted our phone let's see let's allow it allow it says root uh, root explorer has gained super user permissions uh, I don't know if you can see but right here this this whitish part that states mount r slash w so that basically means that you can uh, get the read and write permissions now congratulations your phone is rooted now